Tell me if you hear anything. You, yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Sorry, guys, just a second. We're uh, having a, a little bit of technical difficulty, naturally. Um, all right. There you go. Okay, you can see me? Yep. Right. Okay, great. Hey, um, well, uh, I'm Hong Kong, and uh, good to be with you guys. Um, I am really sorry about um, all the drama earlier today. That was at an, a misunderstanding on our part. Um, we basically worked out a lot of stuff, which was um, unclear and confusing this afternoon. Um, uh, and so, sorry, I just want to get this set. Okay. Yeah, so basically, guys, um, we're, we are going strong. We're just kind of uh, reorganizing a bunch of different things right now. So don't send any donations into the media team right now. That would be good. Uh, glad to be with everyone. Um, and uh, I can definitely try to answer the questions you have. Um, and we'll just sort of uh, go from there. Um, yes, uh, the Bob Dylan poster. That was a great concert. I, I did have other stuff I wanted in the backdrop for stuff like this. Buddha is flying around right now. Um, but uh, I need to put some more stuff up there. Um, yeah, so... Uh, that's actually a map of Minnesota's legislative districts because I'm a pretty hardcore legislator, le legislation type geek. Um, all right, so guys, uh, I don't. Okay, I think uh, we'll take one from Onion Man, who's wondering uh, FAQ or guide about how to start your own local, local occupation, find out local laws, action targets, anything of that sort. Should we get a wiki page? That's a really good question. Um, we don't. We're trying to get a good list together of kit stuff. Like people keep asking us what media stuff you need. And it's like, you don't need us to send you a crappy old laptop, essentially. Um, we just need to tell you how to set it up. Um, and uh, obviously it's good to have a 4G or other type of uh, wireless connection to um, run through that type of thing. So, uh, yeah, and also I am taking questions off the IRC channel <laughs> on uh, Occupy Wall Street. Did anybody break in on me? Or is there just floating Buddhas? Okay. <laughs> um, no, it's, I can't find a better name. Oh, I can't find a better name. Sorry, I didn't catch that one. Okay, uh, yes. I am feeling like a combination between Obi-Wan and George Lucas right now. It's pretty cool. Uh, or un weird, anyway. It's a little hard to wrap my head around. Um, so that was good. Uh, but yeah, basically, um, here, let me, let me run down some quick ones, uh, for you. Um, we, at the remote team, like, we have our issues. We get to, like, to get grumpy. That's how we, like, we are going to take us seriously, but... We are not feeling isolated or disconnected. We just need to, um, you know, have a better degree of coordination, and uh, it's it's coming together. Um, yeah, and then uh, let's see. So another thing is that we are burning through a lot of bandwidth. All right, and bandwidth is going to be an issue for everybody. Um, so in your local things, if you can set up things like mesh routers, you'll be in much better shape. That's pretty important. So just try to uh, work out ways to manage bandwidth and use bandwidth effectively. Um, we've talked a little bit with people about uh, <laughs> low power radio and stuff like that. Um, and uh, we've been trying to uh, basically have um, uh, working with like, there's these new FCC licenses. Uh, there's these guys, Prometheus Radio. Um, and uh, they basically pushed really hard to um, have low power FCC licenses released. And so. That's actually a major um, element that I don't think people have explored correctly. No, no, I'm not talking about like hand. I'm talking about radio transmitters, like low power FM radio transmitters. Of, I think like up to like 50 watts or something. It was pretty high wattage actually, um, and so I think that the uh, the low power FM transmitter uh, licensing is a, is a good one to to look into. Um, okay, and uh, we also, we now have a couple different channels that are kind of, um, and there's somebody in Madison too, um, I'm sorry, I forgot their name right now, but they're kind of doing like local radio in Madison, and so I think if people replicated the Madison thing, that would be a great place to start. Uh, Cygnus asks, when other OWS sites start streaming, will live stream switch over to their feed, especially when our feed goes bad? Um, oh, and thank you to Barefoot Dancing for the inform FCC information. That's good. Um, okay, yeah, so Cygnus is asking about switching. Um, what, what we need is people that are in those remote areas to be available on IRC on the production channel, and then we can know when you're live, and we can essentially either copy it or you log in through, um, you log into our account, 
and so we're not exactly sure. It's actually something where live stream isn't the most efficient, like, way to kind of copy feeds around. Like, we have to sort of copy them here on our end, and um, oh, unless somebody, like, logs into them, you know, uh, unless unless somebody logs into the accounts the normal way. If you, if you have a live stream account and you give it to us, we can let you in as a camera into our system, and, and that's essentially how we pass them around. Uh, do we have any other additional sites that offer streaming services in mind? Um, there's something called Red5, which would be great if people could get a handle on. Red5 is, uh, oh yeah, Olympia is going on, that's great. Um, okay, yeah, WORT 89.9 FM radio in Madison, Wisconsin. That's, that's, um, that is, uh, Madison. Uh, yeah, so, um, uh, Ustream.com is one of the live streaming sites. If people can get a handle on things like Red5 and this other technology called Icecast, I'm not really familiar with them. And so that, um, I believe that those programs, if we can push live stream footage into those systems, then we can maybe be able to get it back out and push it around. So I think either Icecast or Red5, if we can break that down, that would be really good. Um, I'm going to hit on some other, oh god, it's a Rotunda Radio, Hi Rotunda Radio. It's 87.9 FM, and uh, WORT are the licensed homies, but they're not carrying it live. I'm sorry, Rotunda Radio, we, we have been talking a little bit, um, but yeah, it, Rotunda Radio has been talking with us about this, and uh, talk with them on IRC. Use XSplit to push video, says Solanin. That's cool. Um, let's see, alright, so I just want to run down some other kind of things, but yeah, again, one major issue is bandwidth. If you want to give us like infinite like Verizon accounts for data and stuff, like field, you know, 4G or something, hook us up. That is needed. Um, okay, uh, Occupy Milwaukee met with their first planning meeting to come soon. Um, let's try to get that uh, in there. All right, Anon420 asks um, if there's any demands for Occupy Wall Street um, from the group. I just say I'm really removed from all of this. You got to look at the General Assembly website. They should be uh, breaking that down. Oh good, and Rotunda Radio says Occupy Madison had the first meeting tonight as well. I found Madison a very inspiring thing. I happened to be there by chance right at the end of it, and um, it, was, it was a downer moment, right? Because that was the time when people could, like, you know, advocate for a general strike in Madison after all the bullshit there, and uh, it didn't happen. So it was a great, like, lost historical moment that's kind of been resuscitated. Um, okay, so let me try to get down through some other subjects and um, we'll go through that. Okay, um, one of the things we're trying to do is uh, Occupy Charlotte this Saturday. Saturday, That's great. Zvenin, who is this guy? That's, that's a good question. Um, I basically was one of the initial people at the very beginning of all this that was kind of asked very spur of the moment on like Friday night, hey, do you want to live stream some video from the Occupy Wall Street protests? And uh, being a big fan of Adbusters, uh, I am a huge fan of Adbusters, and uh, pizza. we have pizza over here, fortunately. But I won't eat it now, thank That's you. Cool. No, I can't eat pizza on screen. That's the only, only people in New York eat pizza on screen. In Minneapolis, we don't. So, um, alright, so Adbusters, right? And then they had this it's like, you know, it's great because you never figured that Adbusters, a Canadian magazine, would somehow pull this off. Okay, so, um, right, another thing we want to do is um, set up, uh, there's a system called R-Sync, a new Unix. People will know that that is the old school um, uh, file copying utility. So if, when you're making mirroring, you're essentially firing r scripts to copy sets of files between servers. And uh, that's the system that the WikiLeaks mirrors run on. And so we are looking to have people that are competent to set up r scripts. r over SSSH. Yes, you are right, right, lifeguard. SSSH, sorry, SSH is great. Um, yes, so anyway, we, we just want to have r set up so that we can have a huge video mirroring system so that these other global occupations, not just New York, um, can actually have their footage uh, passed around and we can basically, you know, uh, remove the bottlenecks and make a very uh, sturdy system. Um, passing of Pisces, who created the Ku Media voting site? I don't know who the Ku Media guys are. They showed up on IRC really early and they were like, let's have, you know, a votable thing. And uh, so they did. And, and there it is. And uh, other, I don't know, other than that. 
I don't know what their deal is. Um, okay. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, Spacebot. Setting up rsync sounds fun, but I've never done it before. I think you basically just have to get a little script and then set it in your cron. If you're, if you're familiar with Unix, cron is the job management, and you just do that. So if we can do rsync, we'll be in great shape. Okay. Crazy Birds. Crazy Birds is my hero, actually. I'm, I, I'm really glad I got to know him. He's great. Okay. Um, yes, thank you, Jihad. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. So we have, uh, o, we have OWS help is channel. Okay. So channel O W or whatever S help. Okay. That's the, that's for the local teams and then channel media teams again on IRC channel media teams. I'm thinking of as kind of the back end type of, um, system and, uh, and media teams is where we're trying to get programming. We're trying to get weirder stuff. We're trying to get info about like uh, solar panels from somebody last night. So we're trying to work on the energy structure stuff as well. Where am I? Lunar sickness. Lunar sickness. I am in Minneapolis. I am in Minneapolis. What's good in Minneapolis? I think a lot of things are good in Minneapolis. I think that Minneapolis is really on board. I have been coordinated tightly with them. I know they're having a meeting on Saturday in Loring Park downtown. Um, and, uh, and I think they're good. Um, yes, Daziga Vertov, ooh, Jesse Ventura approves, Jesse Ventura, there you go, <laughs> okay, Jesse Ventura approves, yes, Flying Monkey is still with the group, but we need to all help him out, because it's very stressful to manage all of this, um, where's, where's, what's the IRC, IRC is a protocol like HTTP, it's one of the earliest protocols of the internet, and we've decided to make it cool again, and uh, because it's the most legit way to do this and um, so yeah and it looks like enslaver has the correct uh, chat.indymedia.org thing and I think that the administrators fixed the certificate thing so it shouldn't bitch at you as much so Dzika Vertov, uh, what about scam sites um, and a, a non 420 calls for should I call for renewable energy yeah if, 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 if renewable energy devices work man you know bring your zero point energy bring your like perpetual motion machines it'll be cool everyone will dig it biogas exactly IRC stands for internet relay chat um, okay um, let's see okay what does flying monkey need I mean flying monkey needs time and he needs like sanity like we can't uh, lean on him you know he's he's a really Unbelievably talented dude, and we just we've been dragging too much time out of him. Um, so I just I just and and likewise like Flux, he's an incredible person, and he tries really 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 hard, and it amazes me. So I love those guys, but we can't we got to help them out. We can't push them too hard. Um, okay, bike energy converter. I think someone is working on a bike thing. Um, I. Uh, yeah, I think someone was said they were bringing a bike generator. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it is. Um, any news on arrests? I haven't heard anything new today. Um, biogas. I did talk to somebody who uh, was involved in the first methane uh, uh, digester pilot project a long time ago. So I heard about it a while ago. Revolution Mouse. Yes, your IRC is working. Um, Okay, Olympia is up at livestream.com slash Olympia. So we will um, hopefully be able to tie into Olympia and um, GA on Saturday. If they can get that going live, we'll, we'll try to get it tied in. And Papadopoulos, um, we'll try to work out. You can contact us later. Um, how can you help? Okay, um, well, everyone, like, you know, the stuff like the chat can be very addictive and, and interesting. And we're really hoping that people, like, you know, pay attention to the chat, but get out there and let people know what's going on and help, uh, you know, pass things around. Um, you can't, okay, uh, IRC for file uploads. You, you can't do um, uh, IRC, uh, if, uh, files do not go across IRC, but you can find out where we can stow files with IRC, and we're trying to organize that. So we're just trying to get that going. Um, I don't. I don't know who's in custody. I'm. I'm a remote producer, so you should ask me questions that don't like have to do with the ground affairs. Um, just ask me about what like technical things. I'd really like to focus on that. And again, I am sorry about the uh, drama earlier today. It was kind of a colossal misunderstanding. Um, hi, hi, South Africa. That's awesome. And San Diego. I. That's great. Um, 
San Diego, you should try to contact us, 1990RA. Just get a hold of us on IRC. I, I don't know how long I see this lasting, because I thought I would just do an overnight video for a couple nights. Um, okay, yeah, the drama earlier was we were confused. We kind of came in, and there, were, we were, there was sort of a partial media meeting going on, and we had no idea what it was, and we were pretty pissed. Um, but it was actually kind of about sort of a side thing, and then afterwards it made sense again. So it was sort of an accident. Um, okay. Uh, Daziga Vertov, I am not, like, I, I don't quite know what all the, the, the um, donation stuff is. We're going to try to really get it sorted out in the next couple days, because people are posting fake donation links and real ones, and it's hard to tell. Um, QVX Spear says you can do file transfer on IRC, um, and then we'll try to figure that out. Um, I did do an interview with Alex Jones after the G20, and that was actually a pretty... If you look up Dan Fight on the Alex Jones show, that's a funny interview. It was good. It was it was intense, but it was great. Uh, Onion Man, I do not have the S status on Occupy Minnesota. They have a good website going, though, and you sh that should help. Um, are there FTP servers for this group? Not Seedless 480. Uh, not... Um, Hi, South Africa, Sub 451. That's great. Um, I... The FTP servers that are known are not, like, organized in a systematic way, and I don't know how public people want them to be. I think we need, like, sort of Dropbox arrangements, um, and so forth. Um, basic, hi, Hong Kong says hi to Hong Pong. That's pretty cool. I love it. Um, I wonder if the, uh, uh, if the, uh, there's an Antarctic research vessel a couple nights ago. I hope those guys are still cruising around. That was really cool. Okay, um, so we, we want to have an, an, a meeting on IRC. I just want to hit the rest of these agenda items quick. Um, so, okay, uh, we want to have a meeting on IRC, but uh, I, don't, I don't think we can do it tomorrow afternoon, but I think we can do it during the weekend. Um, I think it would be okay to do it Saturday afternoon if nothing crazy is going on again, because last Saturday afternoon was pretty weird. So if there's not a ton of drama, then that would be cool. Um, so, uh, if we can go for that, that would be great. I wish I had something better to say than that right now. Um, but I don't, I don't want to be overly centralized with IRC, and, like, I'm also, I'm, I'm very new, like, I'm not totally new to it, but it's really not been my thing. I'm not an IRC expert, right, at all. Um, and so, it's been good to, like, you know, lean on moderators, but, uh, there's a very fine balance, um, and then there's a lot of, uh, also a lot of people, uh, that are involved that are, you know, anarchists, like, straight-up, legit people, and they are, um, you know, they don't have the same philosophy about internet moderating that other people do, right? So, it's, uh, we want to have a, t a good balance that incorporates all of their perspectives in that, and I think that's important, because we wouldn't want it to turn towards being overly moderated, and so forth. And also, um, the, 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 we want to try to get people who are moderating, who pick up all this useful information, to cycle out of moderating and bring the information out to the rest of the network because it's like when you're moderating you're in this like turbo information vortex and we need to kind of pull that stuff out and like push it out further so that's um, I don't think we need more moderators right now it's more that yes exactly Xenoian moderation has to be a moderation okay free spaz suggestion when occupations are up the page will rotate between cities with links to specific city streams We'll try to get that working in the Twitter and stuff. We don't have a great way to put it together. Um, I don't see Rotunda... Okay, Rotunda Radios. Overnight video... Yeah. Um, basically, usually the overnight video is being mostly controlled from Minneapolis. So, um, we're basically going to be reorganizing our email contacts and stuff tomorrow. Um, and then, basically, we will have a much easier way for you to send in... Uh, clips like later we, we we're just basically kind of refactoring all of our contact stuff to be in more organized because you know we've had media requests and people want to license our footage you know so we're trying to get that all organized correctly um uh okay does celebrity influence co-op the movement i don't think it can but it definitely can strong arm the you know press coverage um but a lot of times okay yeah tech contact info uh, you can, guys can get me uh, at hongpong at hongpong.com personally, and uh, we will be having better uh, <laughs> what press coverage. Um, G4 TV. How about G4 TV? That was awesome. Uh, hi, Be Beirut. Um, 
Yeah, okay, I'm losing a little track of uh, the main discussion on the live stream. But um, we are going to have a much better, um, you know, uh, sorry, we're going to have a much better line of communication to you guys that will be obvious on cards, like an email address, so that you can tell us, because we need to know which rights to which clips we're allowed to use, okay? We can't just throw in clips even if they look cool. We actually have to have permission. It's pretty important. So we need to make sure that we have the go ahead and we and if you like, okay, person who has a YouTube channel, they let us know that we can use their channel, that's fine. But we just have to know. And so that's basically that. Uh Cygnus, I have not heard about MTV coverage. Okay, yes. And obviously occupytogether.org is the best compilation site right now. Creative Commons for the win, I totally agree. Um uh Xenoian, um and I'm hoping everything is basically Creative Commons um, licensed. It should be. Um, Hong Kong was a handle I sort of dreamed up uh, from with the help of a friend of mine in high school or junior high. Um, uh, Jarrett 28. What do people need? I know they need socks. I know they need things like CPR masks. Um, there's bottled water, things of that nature, um, and uh, less disposable silverware. They're trying to uh, water stuff. Um, I don't know. I think you should stay tuned tomorrow, but I don't know much more than that. It'll probably be cool. Um, yeah, let's see what else. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, um, I'm just going to try to hit... Okay, right. So, on, on IRC, we have been trying to get new channels going, um, including uh, Second Life. Okay, yeah, we will be streaming in world. I love the Second Life dimension. I think everybody should protest in virtual reality. In fact, I would specifically request a really funny Warcraft, like, you know, World of Warcraft uh, protest. How, yeah. Le Leroy. Leroy's back, and Leroy's gonna occupy whatever the hell, war you know, Warcraft Wall Street is. Um, okay, sorry guys. Um, okay, so we're trying to set up new channels, including Occupy, Sh I mean, we are, you know, everyone is. Anybody can set up an IRC channel. I'm not setting them up. Everyone can set them up. You can set them up. Just put in join, you know, Occupy Chicago. That one exists, right? Uh, join Helped OWS. That's the one for the ground team. Um, yeah, protest the auction house in Warcraft. Warcraft is a totally fake economy. You think the Federal Reserve is bad? Look at the Warcraft economy. Um, uh, Media Teams is the channel for development. So that's Hashmark Media Teams. And so I'm hoping that that is like a uh, back channel for developer people, technical people, not like people trying to get the live streams connected on the ground. Um, how crazy expensive is the live stream account? I, I think that's okay right now. Really, the problem is the internet bill. Um, okay. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, uh, okay. Right. And then, also, okay, here's an important thing, actually, right? We do hear a lot of, uh, spooky intel, um, from, you know, whoever that we, we don't know, right? Um, so in any case, if you guys want to help us out and make our, yeah, my, my email is hongkong at hongkong.com. Um, and, and like, we've been around the block, man. We've, we've worked together to make independent media centers happen at the G20 in Pittsburgh in 09 and, uh, at the RNC in 2008 here in Minneapolis. And, um, so we know exactly when they want to bring their A game, what they're up to. And they're, you know, the government takes this shit seriously, but I think that, but my impression at a distance is that the government is not united in the effort to like try to slam this, you know? Um, all right. Plug Occupy Vancouver. Duly plugged. Um, we, the, the stimulator sent us new video bumps and we're going to load them later. It'll be great. Um, what is Operation? I have no idea what Operation Azeroth is. That sounds like some, that sounds like a Warcraft thing. Okay. Um, yeah, Xenoian, make a website to, to demands from the people so you can see all suggestions, vote up or down. I may just do that. I'm probably going to make my own website, or basically a website for the media team around here, roughly. And uh, we'll, we'll do a lot of fun stuff, because I'm a Drupal developer. Um, I don't know how many uh, arrests to expect to Zigo Veritoff. I have no idea. Um, yeah, Drupal. No, Drupal's good. It's open source software. It delivers a lot of uh, cool solutions. So we can get into that later. Um, okay, but basically, guys, it's like we need direct contacts to staffers. All right, here's a plug for 
uh, crossing the Rubicon, Michael Rupert, another influence in our thinking over here. Always good. A legit individual collapse net. Um, uh, yeah, sound levels, Onion Man. I know. Sound levels are a pain in the ass. Um, Otori is spreading a lot of awesome links um, on the IRC, if you haven't been there. We did film a, uh, in an interview with Michael Rupert, and the tapes are actually honestly here on my desk when he did collapse here in town. And we haven't digitized them, but it was good. Um, sorry, okay, so I'm sorry guys, I keep getting off topic. Um, I'll, and I'll try to wrap this up in a few minutes, but thanks for your patience. Um, so we, we need like direct contact links to like the chief of staff's like cell phones and stuff of all these different people around the country. Um, and so we need to basically be able to be sure that we can, you know, press a lot of people to contact powerful officials if and when shady crackdown things are kind of in the works. But it's, it's hard to, it's just hard to interpret from the outside. But we want to be able to have everybody call these people and uh, make that roll. And that, that is actually pretty important. Chief of who's staff? All of them, man. Like, we need, we need every, like, find the governor's chief of staff cell phone, right, in every state where there's an occupation, okay? Like, that's actually important. And the, for the governor, the mayor, the legislators, the legislative assistants, the mayor's staff, um, and, like, all those people, and not just their, like, front lines, but their, like, extensions and their shit, just, to, you know, we have to have all of that stuff put together, um, and believe me, it's really important. Um, if nothing else, I know that. Um, okay, also with spam, this is like a major issue on um, the, uh, this is a major issue on the chat systems, is that there's having like unknown donations, uh, malicious links coming in and stuff like that, and that's probably the most important thing the moderators are making happen, is dealing with people that post malicious links, and so they're asking, you know, Apart from uh, the, the text styling, which they want kept very plain, but we can't actually set that administratively in the software, which is a huge uh, shortcoming. Yes, I called for the prosecution of Bush, Cheney, and Obama, and I even bought the Office of Special Plans .com so that I could rip on them forever as long as I want. Um, it's nothing on there now, but I have that. Anyway, so the spam, sorry. The spam is um, uh, an issue, and it's a really important thing to deal with. Um, why are you banning so many? I mean, we're, we're just, like, honestly, I've been, tr we were trying to get the moderators, and it's like, I honestly don't want to spend all of my time, I want to work on creative stuff, editing, visuals, that kind of thing, I don't, I don't want to spend time moderating the forum, I'm just hoping it can be useful, right? Um, and, uh, so, yeah, the, when people are banned, they only get banned for five minutes, and then only if they keep doing the same stuff and ignoring everything the moderators say, then they get a longer ban. And it's like, what are you gonna do when there's this many people on there? Um, and, and likewise, if you have an issue, like please come to IRC and get in touch with us because we do, we do need mo you know, moderators to be accountable and transparent and, and they you know, um, sometimes just get really annoyed with the insanity and uh, so forth. A non-420, why do you ban talk of cannabis and drugs? Listen. We're trying to have a forum that is not like fully laden with predicates for the federal government to come and crush everyone. And so that's why you don't want to have like blathering about drugs and violence, which is always what happens on the internet. And so, I mean, personally, if there's a partisan angle for me in this, it's that I want the laundering of drug money through the major banks and the Federal Reserve System to be exposed. And I want that to happen very intensely. And that if anything comes out of this that they can't launder drug money anymore in their little profitable drug war, that's a huge deal to me, actually. So, I, I feel strongly about that, but, you know, obviously in a world where it's not less authoritarian, I don't think we're going to have the kind of drug war and military-industrial complex and this vicious, like, you know, uh, Pink Floyd death machine that is, like, taking over our society, right? I think it's going to be wound down. Okay, so... Um, yeah, and then obviously we're seeing clampdowns in Google, Yahoo, YouTube, and you got to, you know, uh, contact all of these guys and, and get on their case and not let them pull this bullshit with censoring shit. It's really not acceptable. I've been on for half an hour. I got to get off of here, guys. Um, but, uh, and then, yeah, so, and there's a huge media cover-up obviously going on, which is 
to me, at least half of this. I'm a big fan of, like, Debordian analysis and critical theory and the society of the spectacle, so it just proves how awesome it is. Um, <laughs> uh, sorry. And so, you know, contact your local media, uh, get reporters, editors on the phone, and politicians, and, and if you can do that before shit storms hit, you can really mitigate the fallout, so that would be good. I'm gonna, we'll just go for a few more minutes. Yes, to board. I, I want to load in, actually, Society of the Spectacle, um, because, or at least a little bit of it, so that you guys, if you are not familiar with Debordian, like, analysis, and, like, cause what I think we may have done is sort of short-circuited the spectacle system that controls the United States in some way, and that's actually, I think, part of, like, the theory of it. Um, yeah, I believe in electoral reform. I would like to actually see something where Groups like the Pirate Party could have some proportional representation. Um, I don't think that first past the post is a great system. Um, okay. So, let's see. Um, uh, I, you know, Society of the Spectacle is a good book to start with the board. I think it, it should be up for free, the last version. All right, guys. I'll just answer a few questions. Let's just uh, try to hit it, summarize it, and boogie on out of here. Um, and, uh, yes, the Pirate Party is getting traction in Berlin just recently. Um, okay. I will, I would like to try to come on more in part because, like, um, you know, there's ups and downs, um, to this and the vibes and everything, and it can be pretty stressful to try to manage it, but it's good to sort of get it out there. Um, I, I do think it's pretty fucked up of just the, the way that I, like, I worked as a reporter for four years, so I have a pretty good understanding of the election industry, and, and I don't like the way that the whole system works. Will I be doing this each night? I don't, I don't know. It's up to you guys if you really would want to see me talk that much. Um, I'll try to keep it shorter, but I feel like there's a bunch of stuff to hit on tonight. Um, we are listing to another good book, a big book of jokes. Come on, that's a little gratuitous. Okay, Germany. Okay, um... So again, uh, please just um, hit into chat.indymedia.org, um, and uh, you, we would love you to do this every night. You should. We're getting concrete answers. Okay, see, we have a positive response, all right? There was some doubt as to whether or not this was a good idea, and if it had been a couple hours ago, it would not have been a good idea. So we got to be in the right frame of mind to do this. Okay. Um, anyone who says more honk, say yes. Okay, great. That's very good. I think I might, may, perhaps I will. Um, we'll also try to bring in some special guests. Um, we, we know some very mysterious people from other dimensions that may check in as well. Um, the, there's a, there, it's, it's weird. I'll get into it later. Um, okay, guys. Well, if I don't have any other questions right now, I should let you go out. Live is better than repeats. That's probably true. Um, yes, we should have interviews with uh, very exciting uh, people like that. Caucasia, Caucasia loves Hong Kong. I, I find like Central Asia and the Caucasus region fascinating, and I wish them all the best. I think it, I just want to get out there and check it out someday. Um, there, there aren't really like demands from the General Assembly. You got to look at the General Assembly site to understand the, uh, the, the principles which they are developing before the demands. So think of first principles and then later demands, right? So principles and then demands. Okay. Um, yeah, you're right. And I'm trying to get some sleep too, get more lined up. It'll be good. Um, OccupyTogether.org and all of that. And we will have more coherent contact information for you and information put together uh, tomorrow. The link to the General Assembly site is NYCGA.org. Um, and uh, yeah, so I am not in Cottage Grove. I live in Minneapolis. We believe it at that. Um, so I'll let you go, and uh, yes, we're going to try to get sleep more rationally, and uh, yeah, but it, it's good to talk with you guys, and uh, I'm glad to kind of get a little more synchronized on things. Uh, it is a <whistles> iffy process, but it's, it's moving the right direction. So uh, you guys are great, and uh, get some rest tonight. I don't think there'll be any drama. This is a great time to just like tune out, chill out. Um, we'll try to get another couple more clips in there, or else get some sleep. Um, is there a plan to help people setting up the live stream? Code Freedom, Silver Freedom. Yes, man. Uh, OWS Help, channel OWS Help. And we're going to try to get actual information on a new website like tomorrow. And the URL is NYC. Okay, for the General Assembly, the URL is nycga.cc. Correction, nycga.cc. Sorry about that. nycga.cc. You got it. Okay, shout out to everybody. How about that? Okay. Um, yeah. 
uh, yeah, okay, so live stream setups, live stream setups. We're gonna try to have a new site with that kind of information. Um, th there's an indie media docs.indymedia.org, D O C S dot indymedia.org. That is a wiki that's open and has a bunch of information on it, and I don't have the specific page deep inside of there, um, but I can try to get it and throw it out on the chat in a little bit. But that has also some information about setting up your own live streaming gigs. And Australia, there's a ton of accounts that were just, uh, no, uh, there were a ton of accounts set up in Australia, actually. Australia is going off. And, um, yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Hit us up for Drupal and stuff later. Again, we're going to get our contacts uh, more obvious tomorrow. And um, thank you for your patience. I'll leave it there. I will be on IRC in like a peripheral way, but the pizza is getting cold. So uh, get on me on IRC, Hong Kong. And uh, I'll, I'll see you guys later. And uh, good to talk with you. Uh, I think we're moving the right direction pretty quickly. All right.